Having been here now for three years doing this work when in having built you know nearly 500 leaky dams currently at Hardcastle Crags, we, we now are, are starting to prove that what we do works. When we set up this project, one of the things we were asked to do was to come up with some data as to the efficacy of what we were actually doing. So I designed this system that I could manage on a basis that we wouldn't take up too much time, but would give us sufficient information to prove that what we're actually doing actually works. So what we've got is a, is a monitoring station designed to do exactly that. So this stream, I think, has around 10 or 12 leaky dams on. So we've got one of these plates at the top, and obviously the one here, which is at the bottom. And this is a V-notch plate weir. So it's a 90 degree notch cut in the top of the steel plate. The steel plate's hammered in to create a dam. When you first do it, they do leak quite badly, but this is actually silted up quite nicely now. So all the water's going across the V, which means we can measure the flow rate across that V, just simply with a ruler. And you can use a little formula to calculate the flow rate. And, and we're also doing that in real time using this. So this is a, a pressure transducer that sits in this tube. The tube's got holes drilled in it, and that logs the pressure or the height of that water column over time and in real time. So I come here every, every two months and download the information off that. I've also got um, a time-lapse camera on there. So that is pointing at that gauge. So I can check it two ways, through time-lapse footage and also through the pressure transducer real-time information. To obviously measure this against a control, we've got another stream just over there that doesn't have any leaky dams, but exactly the same monitoring system. So we've got a control to compare. And the, uh, the hydrographs on that stream actually match each other, which is what you'd expect. Whereas the hydrograph on this stream is a lot flatter at this position than it is at the top. A mobile phone on top of there. And take pictures every, you know, three or four times a year, just to see how the, uh, the situation is changing over time. So this is New Bridge, and on this bridge is an ultrasonic monitor that measures the height of the water above the stream bed. So in real time, we can tell by looking on the internet where these rivers are in a flood event. The results from this is a real-time hydrograph. So that's the principle, you know, by putting all this information together, we can see the effect of the natural flood management measures that we're doing on these rivers over time. At the end of this project, hopefully we're gonna have some good data and, and if we can get it right here, then we can use those principles elsewhere. And it's not just in Calderdale, it's, it's countrywide.